This is You Don't Know Jack 2015. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. And hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. Okay, just kidding. There will be parts and stuff. Table for four, right this way. You all take care of those screws now. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday, except for mating season. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Okay, what are we waiting for? Get ready, time to crash in. One. Kicking things off, Bootyful. Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is just made up of water? 10%? 40%? Layer 4, where are you putting that screw? Layer 2, you've been screwed, you got 5 seconds. Hate to disappoint you, but wait, no I don't. Player four, you screw like a high-class hooker. You want even more cash? Players one and four? <laughs> no. Player three? Kim Kardashian's brain, and everybody else's brain for that matter, is made up of about 80% water. But that other 20% is just so round and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. Up next, his acting is alright, alright, alright. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's resurgence as an actor his McConaissance? Well, if Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages? The McConaughey Industrial Age? The McConaughey Middle Ages? Or the McConaughey Enlightenment Age? All wrong, all wrong, all wrong! <laughs> Want to see the right answer? The Renaissance first occurred in Italy in the late 14th century, immediately following the Middle Ages. So the Meconaissance would follow the Meconna Middle Ages. Which is funny because most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. Dance with me, Disco 3! Here's a good one. Brought to you by the letter U Nebrow. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And if you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange these Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Bert, Ernie, the Count. Ernie, Bert, the Count. Bert, Ernie, the Count. The Count, Bert, Ernie, or Ernie, the Count, Bert. <laughs> Ernie has no eyebrows at all, Bert has one long single eyebrow, and the Count has two! Two eyebrows! <laughs> that got you each an extra thousand bucks. And yet, none of them have ever blinked. This one's known as Duck Duck Swan. Say the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? Player one, who do you want to screw? Player three, you're getting screwed. You got five seconds. Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan, so the Duck Dynasty crew would probably fill her full of lead. Especially if they find out she once fooled around with a lady swan in college. Well, player one, looks like your plan backfired. Five 
take a stab at the man in the backwards yellow hat. And it's a dis or dat. Player one. You need the most help, so this dis or dat is just for you. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's an alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber, or an antic by the classic children's book character Curious George. If it's Justin Bieber, press the square button. If it's Curious George, press the circle button. The rest of you ought to pay attention. Try to pick an answer before player one. If player one gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone else who got it right. Ready? Let's go. Peed in a mop bucket. Broke his leg falling from a fire escape. Arrested for falsely reporting a fire. At the house. Got high on ether. Got a bugle to an ostrich. Went to a Brazil. Forget George, I'm curious how someone could do this badly. I think we can all agree that it's time for that little bastard to get deported. And then it's your turn, Bieber. That'll bring an end to our first round, and it would seem player three is winning. And with a nice little wad of cash to boot, keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And don't forget, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Let's get back to the action. This one's called... Dumber and dumber -er 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 2. So there's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, -er, and then Dumb and Dumber 2. Makes perfect sense. Now, going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple 2. So, if another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called the blank couple. Odd, otter, oddest, or otter. Oh, player three, who's getting the player two? You're screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. But of course, everyone who made the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Can't get rid of that screw so easily, Player 3. Question 7! Take a good look at... Let it go, let it go, let it go! At which temperature would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin? He's a snowman. Hmm, you may not know how temperatures work. Oh, honestly. 30 degrees is below freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know, blah blah blah, he can magically be saved, but I'm talking about what would happen in the real world to a talking snowman. Pucker up for Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus? First spotted in 1879, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? <laughs> That answer has a hole in it. Here's what a right answer looks like. Albert Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife or something over a century after Uranus was discovered and even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. <laughs> Nine. 
It's time for Wine or Lose. If the Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive Redskins mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, or the Washington Rieslings? Chardonnays, Pinot Blancs, and Rieslings are all white-skinned grapes, but the Malbec grape is red. Although to a connoisseur like myself, Malbec is very offensive. <laughs> oh yes, I do say that was quite a burn. Coming up next, I want to lick and roll all night. If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep into a woman's mouth could he stick it when he kissed her? About five inches deep, about ten inches deep, about twenty. Player two, who gets the screw? Player four, you are so screwed! You got five seconds! What? No. Well played, screw player two. Don't stop there, get some more cash. Player three. Sweet dreams. Players one and two. An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. So that's about how deep into a woman's mouth a giraffe-tongued Gene Simmons could stick it. And if Gene Simmons' neck grew to the length of an adult giraffe's, he may not even need women anymore. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Your house is made of what? What materials are their houses made from? Good luck. is the new game show that's taken the world by storm. Hosted by none other than Terry St. Pancakes, the only rule of this game is not to say the word pajama. <laughs> 